Welcome back to my kitchen. Hope you're doing well. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. Today, I'm showing you what a typical weekend breakfast in Nigeria looks like. I'll be making oats and moi moi. Sometimes people have moi moi with pap, but I'm having it with oats. If you want to see how I make this, keep watching. For ingredients, I have some eggs which I'll be boiling, vegetable oil to make a sauce for this moi moi you see. I have some salt, some smoked mackerel because it won't be good tasting moi moi without smoked mackerel. I have some coconut milk because we're making coconut moi moi today. I have peeled beans, it has been soaked overnight and it is tender now ready for blending. I have a pepper mix, onion, bell pepper, um, chili pepper, ginger and I'm going to blend it all together. I have some ground crayfish to add more fishy flavor to this recipe. I have curry powder because I love using curry powder in my mind and I have some crayfish stock seasoning and then we have our moi moi leaves which will add so much flavor to this recipe so let's start cooking what I'm going to do is prepare the sauce so I'm just going to cut the onion and um, deseed the peppers because if you don't remove the seeds it ends up being bitter so I'm just going to remove that and put everything in the blender to make that pepper sauce Next, I'll blend the beans and onion. I like to use a lot of onion when I'm making moi moi, especially beans based recipes. I'll start on my eggs. I'll put the eggs in water and then boil till they are hard. While the egg is boiling, I'm just going to start making the sauce. In a pan, I'll add some vegetable oil. Once it is hot, I'll add some chopped onion and I'm just going to fry this till it becomes a bit soft. Now, to bring in that flavor, I'm going to add curry powder. This is the best time to add your curry powder because it wakes up the spice and it makes it more fragrant. Next, I'm going to add the pepper blend. The reason why I'm making a sauce is because I want the moi moi to taste different. There are different ways of making moi moi. Check my channel out and you'll see at least two different ways of making moi moi. This is just another method. So I'll be frying the sauce. I'll season with the crayfish powder. I'm going to add with some crayfish stock powder as well. And then I'll add some salt. Stir everything together and allow to cook. As you can see, it is fully cooked, the color has changed and the oil is bubbling at the top. You need a lot of oil because Moi Moi needs oil. Next, I'm going to debone the smoked mackerel. You can use anything for this Moi Moi. You don't have to use smoked mackerel, but I really love the flavor of smoked mackerel. I'm taking out all the bones. I'm always very careful and I pay attention to all the bones in the smoked mackerel and I remove all the parts that I don't like. See, this middle part, I do not like it at all, so I take it off. If you don't want to use smoked mackerel, you can use corned beef, you can use anything really, anything you want, you can put in your moi moi. Mm -hmm. 
next the eggs are done i'm going to put it in a bowl with like very cold water this is to shock the egg and it makes it easier for peeling there was a time i really struggled with peeling eggs but now that's all i just do i boil it and i put it in really cold water ice water that's what i'm talking about and then i allow it to cool a bit and i peel If you are living large, you can use one whole egg per moi moi, but see, we're going to be cutting this moi moi into different little parts, some in halves and some in four places. Now to the beans paste, I'm going to add some coconut milk. The coconut milk just gives it just a different kind of flavor, you guys. Sometimes it's not really noticeable as such. Then I'm going to add the stew. See how rich and beautiful that looks. And I'm just going to mix it gradually. I'm going to come back and add more of that sauce because I wanted it to be really, really red or orangey in color. So I'm just going to mix everything in. Next, I'm going to add the, the bone smoked mackerel and then we we'll just tear everything in. A lot of Nigerian homes stick to moi moi and akara on a Saturday morning. Growing up, it was like the standard and now that I have my own family, it is what I do. <laughs> we just have to keep up with the tradition. If you are Nigerian, let me know if this is true for you. And if you are not Nigerian, let me know what you eat on a Saturday morning that is like tradition to you. This has been on rotation in my menu planner or what I call a food timetable. If you don't have my food timetable, get a copy in the description box. I'll put the link there for you. And I also have recipes in my cookbook that I am sure you will like. So check the description box. Now this is the pot I use for moi moi. I've showed you guys before in my previous moi moi recipe video. I like it because it is a steamer and it is wide so enough space for our moi moi to flourish. I'm just going to transfer some water into the pot, enough water to cook the moi moi. Sometimes halfway, I have to add more water because the water dries up. To assemble the moi moi, I'm just going to cut that bit out. Sometimes I leave it in and then I just fold two moi moi leaves together like so and then I put a uh, moi moi butter inside, put the egg I want to put. If you have other garnishes, now is the time to add everything that you want to add to this moi moi and then we're going to fold it in to secure it and put it in the steam basket. If you struggle with doing this, like folding moi moi leaves, there are other options. You can also steam by using a container that is steam friendly. You can do that or you can bake. Once you bake in the oven, make sure you put water in the oven, like in a separate container so that your moi moi does not lose its moisture. You can check my channel. I have a recipe for oven baked moi moi and normally steamed moi moi like this. to leave the moi moi to steam a bit and sometimes this takes between 35 to maybe 45 minutes it depends on how high the heat you are using is and once i finish cooking i just allow it to settle because i want it to form and just be a bit firm typically people eat moi moi with pap on saturday mornings I like it with maybe gari, I like it with custard, I like it with oats, I like it with pap, <laughs> anything goes. I love moi moi with bread. Tell me what you best combined your moi moi with, what you love to combine your moi moi with. For me, 
it's gary bread <laughs> that i easily go to but today i'm having oats and for me oats is milk galore i cook my oats with milk and then i also treat myself to more milk when i'm serving The moi moi has been resting for a while now. It is fully cooked and it is formed just how I like it. I'm just going to remove the wrap to unveil the moi moi. Let me tell you guys my favorite bits of moi moi. <laughs> you see the ones that are stuck on the leaves? <laughs> Those are my favorite and I like to eat those ones first and they're my favorites because they have like all the flavor from the moi moi leaves and you guys know that is so delicious. I hope you found this video to be very useful and I just hope you actually enjoyed watching it. If you want me to do more videos like this because this was a cook with me video showing you how I made the entire meal. If you want more let me know in the comment section. Click the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Also, if you try this recipe, tag me on social media. I would love to see it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!